Toko Toucan. The Toko Toucan, Ramphastos Toko, also known as the common toucan or giant toucan, is the largest and probably the best known species in the toucan family. It is found in semi-open habitats throughout a large part of Central and Eastern South America. It is a common attraction in zoos. The Toko Toucan eats fruit using its bill to pluck them from trees, but also insects, frogs, small reptiles, small birds and their eggs and nestlings. The long bill is useful for reaching things that otherwise would be out of reach. It is typically seen in pairs or small groups. In flight it alternates between a burst of rapid flaps with the relatively short, rounded wings, and gliding. Nesting is seasonal, but timing differs between regions. The nest is typically placed high in a tree and consists of a cavity, at least part of which is excavated by the parent birds themselves. It has also been recorded nesting in holes in earth banks and terrestrial termite nests. Description The Toko Toucan has a striking plumage with a mainly black body, a white throat, chest and upper tail coverts, and red undertail coverts. What appears to be a blue iris is actually thin blue skin around the eye. This blue skin is surrounded by another ring of bare, orange skin. The most noticeable feature, however, is its huge bill, which measures from 15.8 to 23 centimeters in length, which is yellow-orange, tending to deeper reddish-orange on its lower sections and culmin, and with a black base and large spot on the tip. It looks heavy, but as in other toucans it is relatively light because the inside largely is hollow. The tongue is nearly as long as the bill and very flat. This species is the largest toucan and the largest representative of the order Pisiformes. The total length of the species is 55 to 65 centimeters. Body weight in these birds can vary from 500 to 876 grams, with males averaging 723 grams against the smaller female, which averages 576 grams. Among standard measurements, the wing cord is 22 to 26 centimeters, the tail is 14.1 to 17.9 centimeters, and the tarsus is 4.8 to 6.5 centimeters. Other than the size difference, there are no external differences between the sexes. Juveniles are duller and shorter build than adults. Its voice consists of a deep, coarse croaking, often repeated every few seconds. It also has a rattling call and will build clack. The bill is the largest relative to body size of all birds providing 30 to 50% of its body surface area, although another neotropical species, the sword-billed hummingbird, has a longer bill relative to its body length. It was called by Buffon a grossly monstrous appendage. Diverse functions have been suggested. Charles Darwin suggested it was a sexual ornament. Toucans may owe the enormous size of their beaks to sexual selection, for the sake of displaying the diversified and vivid stripes of color with which these organs are ornamented. Further suggestions have included aid in peeling fruit, intimidating other birds when robbing their nests, social selection related to defense of territory, and as a visual warning. Research has shown that one function is as a surface area for heat exchange. The bill has the ability to modify blood flow and so regulate heat distribution in the body, allowing it to use its bill as a thermal radiator. In terms of surface area used for this function, the bill relative to the bird's size is amongst the largest of any animal and has a network of superficial blood vessels supporting the thin horny sheath on the bill made of keratin called the ramphotheca. In its capacity to remove body heat the bill is comparable to that of elephant ears. The ability to radiate heat depends upon air speed, if this is low only 25% of the adult birds resting heat production to as much as four times this heat production. In comparison, the bill of a duck and the ears of elephant can shed only about 9% of resting heat production. The bill normally is responsible for 30 to 60% of heat loss. The practice of toko toucans of placing their bills under their wings may serve to insulate the bill and reduce heat loss during sleep. It has been observed that complexities of the vasculature and controlling mechanisms needed to adjust the blood flow to the bill may not be completely developed until adulthood. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.